when it speaks of the Gentiles, understand that was always part of what Jesus was going to do here. By design. Do you realize in a world where only men could be a witness in court, that a woman's witness didn't count, or there had to be either two or three women to count against one man's witness. In that kind of world, in a part of the world where the Jews were pretty much in control, in that world, Jesus picked the first person to tell that he was the Messiah was a woman and a Gentile. Now he holds that in common with somebody else that's a picture of Jesus. And that's Samson. I love those looks. You may have heard about Daniel being a type of Jesus, and he is. And maybe you've heard Joseph as a picture or type of Jesus, and he is. Both of those are kind of unique in that the Bible never records them doing anything wrong. Now, not saying they didn't do anything wrong, I'm just saying the Bible didn't record that. And as such, that's a picture of Jesus. But Samson is a picture of Jesus. And what triggered this was the Gentile. Why? Because Jesus chose a Gentile woman to tell that he was a Messiah. Samson chose a Gentile woman as his bride. So there's a parallel there. There's more than that. There's more than that parallel. We'll, we'll go through this really quickly because I, I didn't do it for media. But if you're taking notes, you can jot these down real quick or come back and listen to it later. But real quick, here's some parallels between Samson and Jesus that are just incredible. Um, First of all, both of their births were foretold by an angel. Both of them, their mother was told first of the birth by an angel, and then dad was told second by an angel. They were both Nazarites. Jesus, well, Jesus of Nazareth, Samson had a Nazarite vow. That's why he wouldn't cut his hair. He didn't, wasn't supposed to be around dead things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They both spoke in parables. They both chose Gentile women to express themselves with. Samson with Delilah, Jesus with the woman at the well in John 4. They both were betrayed. They both, both of their betrayers were paid in silver, Delilah and Judas. Both of them were set up by their enemies leading in their death, but in both of them, their deaths ended up to be a trap for their enemies. Samson was blinded and they cut his hair, but they didn't notice his hair was growing back and his strength was returning. They were going to make fun of him and put him in a group of unbelievers. And he said, put me between the columns. And in that last moment, Samson was redeemed through his death. And the day of his death, 3,000 people died. When Jesus gave us the Spirit in Acts chapter 2, 3, and 4, 3,000 people got saved. 